Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the second episode of my Shaker inspired wall clock. In the first episode, I have created the data joints and connected all the four sides and the separator. I have also created the hanging part and shaped it. Now I need to fix the back in the lower part. For this I need to cut the rebate. Since this rebate will be only on one part, I cannot use a rebate plane. Instead I will use a chisel. I mark the rebate on all four pieces. Also mark the depth of each rebate. Using a chisel, I created all the rebate. I need to create a half round profile on three sides for the top and the bottom. I accomplish it with a number 4 smoothing plane and 220 grit sandpaper. Also need to create a roundover on the separator piece. Mm -hmm. 
Once all components are ready, it is time for glue up. I apply glue on all the glue surfaces. Before the glue set, I check for the length and the diagonals and clamp with a rope as I do not have such long clamp. For the doors, I prepared all the four stops and marked them with a triangle. I decided to mark a 8mm rebate for the glass pane on all the pieces. I will be using bridle joints for both doors. I mark the length of the mortise from the other piece and using a mortise case, I mark the mortises and tenons. Using a saw, I cut the mortise. I removed the waist with a 8mm chisel. bit of cleanup the mortise is ready I cut a tenon with the saw and also remove the chick with a saw Once all the four joints are ready, I created a rebate with a saw. Once I cut the rebate, I created this mitered corner and one of the door is ready. I also made the bridle joint for the next door. This should have a groove to house the wooden panel, but I decided to create a rebate because I do not have the same material for the panel. Therefore, I will be using a pine board. If the pine board does not look good, I should be able to change it later. I created the rebate now. 
I will create the miter. First, I remove the extra ribby. Mark a 45 degree using a combination square and then remove the additional part carefully with a chisel while following the knife line. the doors and I already fixed the hinges for the top door. I still need to fix the hinges for the bottom door. I measure equal distance from both sides and mark it. Place the hinges to mark the other side. I square both sides. Using a marking gaze, I also mark the width and the depth of the hinges. I create the hinge recess using a chisel. I start away from the knife mark and proceed. Once I clear some waste, I hit on the knife mark. Off camera, I have added the pine bag and the panel. I have added this simple door cat system. I have also applied a layer of polyurethane. I also made this clock with pine and 4mm plywood. The clock machine is also fixed. The clock goes perfectly on the space. I will add the glass pane after applying the final coat of polyurethane. The clock is ready.